when the voice began singing was when the fist opened, was when space fell between hammer and anvil, was when something lifted our hands to our faces, was when the scales fell and we named them, was a querulous light that then ate our eyes, was verb exacting the length of our ear, was our feet religioning their way through intestine towards some fearful Damascus. Where messiahs danced atop smoldering textbooks and oracles spoke of a fire to come, like an embryo prophecy, nascent yet lumbering its way toward insurrection. But there was no word yet for insurrection. No word for breathless at last. No word that encanted that killers be fearful as Christ in a cage built by slave-owning men. No book would teach us a barren constitution or decipher the phonics of bulleted speech. No blueprint would show how to build a new brick that would stitch a new tower from us to the voice. All we knew was we needed a tower, a stitching of brick, back into the voice.